Okay, just thought I'd uh, show a quick uh, piece of video. It's currently making the mould for the uh, embryo. And as you can see, the sculpture has a clay wall around the exterior. The idea is that is to provide a uh, separation for the two halves of the mould. It's going to be one on the front and one on the back. Uh, as you can see up here, I'm just uh, doing a bit of a test for this new uh, Fixotropic Resin Paste, as it's called, which is basically just quite a thick resin that you can paste over the uh, model. Um, when it's hardened, obviously, it gives the impression of the sculpture. Okay, so we're just applying the uh, resin coating here with a brush. And just making sure that it's kind of got a uh, even layer over all of the uh, sculpture. Okay, so we've now uh, applied the layer of uh, gel resin onto there, which is nice and hard. What I'm now doing is laminating the whole thing with some glass fibre, and all that involves is putting the fibre on like that, then uh, giving it a layer of uh, resin. Uh, what happens is the uh, resin kind of dissolves the uh, the glass fibre and it becomes all kind of gooey as you can see down here and that will eventually harden into a uh, nice hard case which will give support to the uh, to the layer that's already on there okay so as you can see I've uh, now turned the sculpture over and I'm just removing the clay wall which we'd uh, originally added uh, to reveal the uh, resin case Okay, so we've now cleaned off the clay wall. As you can see, you can now see the uh, back of the fiberglass case. Uh, what we're going to do now is actually take some Vaseline and apply that to the edges of the case. And what this does is act as a separating agent. This will just stop the two sides sticking together and give us a two-piece mould that we can then put apart and fill with silicon. Okay, so we've now added a layer of uh, Fixotropic Resin to the back of the mould, which is now uh, nice and hard. And what we're going to do now is we're just preparing to laminate the whole thing with some more glass fibre to give it a bit of strength. Okay, so we now have a finished mould. Uh, both halves, there's the back half. Um, I've just cleaned the edges up slightly with a Dremel. Uh, you do get some quite uh, sharp spikes sometimes with the resin. And what I'm going to try and do now is literally just crack it open and that really involves just driving a uh, screwdriver between the two layers and slowly prising it apart. So you can see the mould slowly coming apart. It's just really a question now of slowly easing it out. Uh, obviously the sculpture gets destroyed in the process of putting it apart here. Uh, but that's fine so we're going to clear it out and then fill the interior here with uh, silicon. Okay, so what we're doing now is just laying a uh, layer of clay on the inside of the uh, mould. Uh, here's one of the empty ones I've cleaned most of the uh, sculpture out of. Uh, what we're going to do is, um, once the wall is put on both sides of the mould, we're going to put them together, and then put some um, expanding foam to fill the cavity. And what that will do is create a core for the main, um, main puppet, which will then be covered in the um, translucent silicon. Okay, so here's the uh, foam core interior which I've just pulled out of the mould. Uh, you can see the clay wall just down here. And here's the uh, foam, which is smaller than the uh, actual sculpture, and it will sit inside. You can see there's the metal beam there, which will give it, um, which will allow it to flex. Uh, we've got quite a large air bubble here, but I'm just gonna uh, take some of the uh, excess foam, which is it out of the mould here, just to build it up so it's actually filled in. Okay, so here's just a, a few shots of the back of the mould. Basically the silicon's going to be poured in through uh, here and here. I've basically cut these at the highest point of the mould when it's laying at its front, so that when the silicon's poured in, it will just pour through the whole mould. Okay, so we've just cracked the mould open. Uh, so far it's looking quite good. Uh, back of the head, uh, the silicon doesn't appear to have covered the um, foam uh, core. It's not entirely a problem, so we can just cast a small section of the uh, back head and then uh, glue that on. So um, I'm going to now try and pull the rest of it out and hopefully the front of the mould will, uh, will be fine. Okay, here's a few shots of the um, the puppet being painted. OK, 
Okay, so here's the finished puppet after painting. Uh, painting was uh, a bit more difficult than I thought it would be actually. And I uh, wasn't entirely happy with the finished result. However, it does seem to photograph and film quite well. So uh, I think it's not too bad in the end. As you can see, I've uh, punched a little bit of hair into the head as well. Um, the idea for the thin course is it will be in a test tube or kind of a large glass beaker filled with fluid. So I'm kind of hoping that the, uh, the hair will uh, wave as the fluid moves around, uh, giving it quite a cool look. 